The town of Clifton was declared a National Historic District by the U.S. Department of the Interior in 1984. Clifton has had a community school for 138 years, and there has been a school at the current Clifton Elementary site since 1912. Closing Clifton Elementary will have a devastating effect on the town of Clifton and the surrounding areas. It's the one thing that brings this community, this large area community together. Our children all play with different athletic clubs from Burke to Centerville to Fairfax. The school is the one uniting factor that keeps this town together. By 1952, the prior Clifton Elementary School, it was built in 1912, which in and of itself was a pretty uh, uh, fascinating and very rich school in the sense that it had an auditorium that seated 100 people, it had six classrooms, and when that could no longer hold as many students from this area as were required to attend school, in 1952 a new school was built and it is that school today that is where the children of Clifton attend. It is also the same place where our voting poll is. And so it is very, very, very much a part of the heritage of the town of Clifton. Industry professionals, including school builders, designers, environmental engineers, civil engineers, and tradesmen, have reviewed the feasibility study and toured the facility. The school has been found to be in excellent condition. I'm afraid if our school were to close, it would really divide our community. I think. Um, kids would be split up and sent to several different elementary schools within our surrounding area and then on to different high schools after that. I think that Clifton Elementary School is such a vital part of our community that if we were to lose our school it would be devastating to our town. I think it would be a disaster for the community. I think it would be a disaster for the town and all the, the people around here. I think part of what our message that we have to get across to the school board is not only an educational issue, but it's a community issue. Uh, I probably wouldn't like that because like, that's where I went to school and uh, it, like, if you look at the map where everyone is, it like splits up Clifton basically. Like people on Henderson have to go to some other school and us, we'd have to go to another school. It just wouldn't, I don't think it'd be good. I really, really like the school. I went there for sixth grade. I was in Mrs. Fagan's class. Uh, Tons of memories. It's a part of the town. Um, all the townspeople love it, and being able to just walk up to school. I've done it a couple times and stuff. It's it's right there. Um, it's definitely your small town school, and I don't want to see it go. I think it's a bad thing for Cliff Elementary to close. This is just a Cliff Elementary has been an institution for this town and for the region for so many years. It would be a tragedy uh, for Cliff to close. I think Fairfax County and the public schools need to work hard find a way to keep this open and I'll work on a bipartisan basis with all of our friends here to keep this thing going. Industry professionals have determined that the cost for renovation should be drastically lower than the original projections due to the excellent condition of the school. Here at the Clifton Cafe we're located right in uh, Old Town Clifton, Virginia uh, on Main Street. And the closing of Clifton Elementary would negatively affect our business. Um, just through the summer times when the school is closed, we have to do extra marketing just to bring more people in because when the school is not open, people aren't coming and going to activities uh, and our sales are down. Now that the schools uh, reopen fall time, we see our numbers go right back up. The school's presence in this town, Clifton Elementary School's presence in this town uh, is absolutely vital. Uh, I think both in terms of, uh, of understanding and celebrating the town's past and uh, honoring and celebrating the town's future. Uh, Clifton Elementary School, were it to be changed to a different location, uh, and I know one of the locations we're talking about is the Liberty Middle School area, uh, means that this town will really lose a very, very important piece of its heritage. We'd be the only municipality in the Northern Virginia area that would not have a neighborhood school. Uh, every every community deserves to have a neighborhood school. Clifton is our only one, and once it's gone, we'll never get it back. 
a smaller renovation than that proposed in the feasibility study would provide ample facilities at Clifton Elementary while leaving critical funds available for other schools to deal with their overcrowding issues. If you want to help save Clifton Elementary, please contact school board members at fcps.edu or visit www.saveclifftonelementary.org for more information.